discuss in this video how to manage quality in horticultural crops. Quality is a key issue critical to all horticultural products, whether fresh, minimally processed, or fully processed. In general, best quality characteristics are obtained at harvesting time. But after harvest, quality can only be maintained but not improved. Maintaining quality after harvest can be achieved by using post-harvest or processing technologies. Before I go to any further details, I need to define the term quality. Several definitions are proposed for quality, such as it's a combination of characteristics that give the produce or product its value as a food or enjoyment. Another one, it's the sum of attributes that describe the product. A third definition, degree of excellence. A fourth one, fitness for purpose. Another one, conformance to requirements. Or conformance to a customer's price limited anticipated needs. Another one, a quality product is one that's grown, graded, and packed or processed to meet the customer's requirement. The last definition in this regard is quality is the level of continued purchase or consumption by a specified population. So you are welcome to choose the definition that satisfies your needs or pleases you. There are six main factors responsible or quality of fresh horticultural crops. The first one is appearance, such as the size, shape, color, gloss, defects. The second factor is the texture, such as firmness, crispiness, juiciness, fibrousness. The third factor is the flavor, we mean taste and smell, such as Sweetness, sourness, astringency, bitterness, aroma, of flavor. The fourth factor is the nutritional value, including carbohydrates, fibers, proteins, lipids, vitamins, minerals. The fifth is the health value, especially the antioxidants. The sixth and the last factor is the safety, including natural occurring toxicants, contaminants, mycotoxins, and microbial contamination. The word quality is used to refer to marketing quality, edible quality, dessert quality, shipping quality, table quality, nutritional quality, internal quality, appearance quality, Consumers buy fresh horticultural crops on the basis of appearance and feel. Their satisfaction and repeated buying is dependent upon eating quality. For initial inspection of quality for fresh horticultural crops by human senses, appearance quality is assessed by the site. Texture quality is assisted by hand feeling and the flavor quality is assisted by smell and taste. And all these methods are called subjective assessment methods. However, nutritive and healthy values cannot be assessed by subjective methods and in this regard they are hidden quality attributes. On the other hand, all quality attributes can be assessed objectively by analysis tools and machines. Now, I will speak about maturity versus quality of horticultural crops. Most maturity indices used to determine optimum harvesting stage are also considered quality indices. But most quality indices cannot be used as maturity indices. Timing of harvest is critical for
for once over mechanical harvesting due to the variability and differences in the rate of development and maturation of individual plants or for the individual organs on the same plant. Variability in quality at harvesting time is related to the pre-harvest factors. All fruits and mature fruit vegetables, with some exceptions, reach best eating quality when fully ripe on plant. But because of marketing constraints, it's difficult to deliver those fully ripe fruits to remote consumers. So, they are picked earlier. I mean, mature, but unripe as we have to compromise in this case between optimum maturity and optimum quality. For most non-fruit vegetables, optimum eating quality is reached before full maturity. And in this case, delayed harvesting will result in lower quality. Factors affecting the composition and the quality of fresh horticultural crops and its maintenance after harvest include genetic factors, climatic factors, cultural factors, harvesting stage, post-harvest treatments, and the interaction among those various factors. Again, quality is fixed at harvest and judgment of quality is made in the marketplace. Therefore, marketplace determines produce quality standards, which production practices must fulfill, and post-harvest and processing practices must maintain. Fresh produce industry now changes from a producer-oriented business to a market-oriented business. This gave rise to the concept of market-led production. Post-harvest or processing quality is a manifestation of the pre-harvest production factors, which make the quality. So, quality cycle starts from the market or the consumer needs, followed by production practices, then followed by the produce quality, and finally the post-harvest or processing practices. And so the cycle continues to improve and eliminate any product or quality attribute. The topic I will discuss now is the quality standards. Quality grade standards was developed to identify the degree of quality in all fresh commodities to determine their usability and the market value. Quality grade standards provide a common business language among growers, handlers, wholesalers and processors with the aim of satisfying the consumer needs. But usually this does not always happen. Each market, city, region, and even a country have their own standards for quality of fresh crops according to the nature and needs of their consumers or buyers. As an example for quality standards, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development established and applied international standards for quality of fruits and vegetables to promote the international trade in 33 countries, including Europe and the United States of America. The last topic I will discuss in this session is how to manage quality in horticultural crops. Due to the major profits made from the fresh and processed industries of horticultural crops, many changes and advances 
in quality management techniques were made. Initially, quality was only managed by the inspection technique to find and remove the vets. This was followed by a progress to use the quality control systems, which reduced the defected production. And finally, developed to use the quality assurance programs and total quality management approaches that improve the complete business cycle. I will describe shortly the quality management approaches I mentioned. The first approach is quality inspection. In quality grade inspection, produce or products are checked at the end of the production process when product is ready for shipping. Inspection actually add nothing to the value of shipment. It is just to certify the different grades in the shipment or to differentiate between acceptable and unacceptable lots. The second approach of quality management is called quality control. Quality control system is the all testing, training and control procedures applied during co-production, harvesting, transportation, reception at the back house, sorting, packing and delivery of the final product to provide constant good quality supply of fresh horticultural crops, continue success in marketing and to protect the commercial label's reputation. Quality control must show progress in the business by decreasing rejections according to the inspection results and keep operations from deviating from consumer expectations. Examples of quality control procedures like checking irrigation, pesticide application at the farm, checking proper quality at harvest, monitoring temperature during cooling or transit refrigerating vehicles and checking the quality at destination market. The third quality management approach is called quality assurance. Quality assurance involves the planning of all quality systems related to maintaining and improving quality conformance and reducing quality costs and reducing losses. Now the final approach which is the total quality management. Total quality management is the structured and organized management policy to create and control a quality culture. Continuously improve to function effectively and evaluating the performance to reach the highest quality product and business. We came to the end of the session. See you soon.